Young Sheldon has been packed with cameos, from heartwarming to downright weird. Watch this video to learn the story behind David Hasselhoff's stint on the show. Discover if Amy and Sheldon are going to appear in the series finale, and whose cameo proves that time travel exists. But everyone's okay, that's confirmed? Thank God, yes. David Hasselhoff as himself. That was the most unexpected one. Georgie's ill-fated attempt to earn some extra money went wilder than usual. His partner in crime, Mr. Lundy, was adamant to make the idea of cowboy aerobics work. In a hilarious twist, he decided to hire David Hasselhoff himself. Ever the optimist, Lundy pitched his vision to the 80s icon. Surprisingly, it worked all right. You got the hoff. Hot damn, I got the hoff. <laughs> this unexpected cameo is a laugh out loud moment for any young Sheldon fan. Director Steve Malaro revealed that Hasselhoff was the first person who came to mind. After all, he still looks very much like his Baywatch era self, and the legendary performer was thrilled too. Had a ball on young Sheldon, he shared on Twitter, Jason was a real pro. Comedian Jason Alexander appeared in five episodes of the series, and each time showed new facets of his talents, from being Sheldon's drama teacher to incarnating the devil himself. Greetings. Pleased to meet you. Alexander was definitely a great addition to young Sheldon, just like the next actress. Reba McIntyre as June. The idea of inviting McIntyre on the show initially belonged to Melissa Peterman. The two are long-term friends and previously co-starred in the Queen of Country's self-titled sitcom. And although they've never shared a scene, that wasn't intentional. Executive producer Steve Holland explained that it was just a matter of logistics, as Reba was busy with other projects. On top of that, she already got the best out of her appearance on Young Sheldon. Amazingly, Reba met her significant other. The lucky guy is Rex Lynn, the actor behind Principal Peterson. They actually knew each other since 1990s, yet only began dating after reconnecting on the show. Before the pandemic, mm -hmm. we were both on Young Sheldon mm -hmm. and oh, went out to dinner and we've been inseparable ever since. That? Now, let's talk about a cameo that was completely out of the blue. Ray Liotta as Vincent. His brief stint on Young Sheldon is definitely worth watching and re-watching. Sadly, there won't be another one, as the actor passed away two years ago. Thankfully, he had this chance to showcase his comedic range after decades of playing gangsters. I want my money. Liotta is perfect as a bookie, whom Connie runs into at a casino. And their side-splitting scene proves that even the toughest guys can be left speechless by Mima. And what about the next guest appearance? Ming-Na Wen as Dr. Lee. Three stubborn scientists can definitely turn any project into a mess. Thankfully, Dr. Carol Lee came in to shut down the bickering before it got out of hand. And I raised three little boys, which I understand you've been acting on. Moreover, she outsmarted Sheldon. Oh, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And probably that's where the roots of his paranoid distrust of Penny are. Dr. Lee's appearance is more than just a fun cameo. Ming Na Wen is a sci fi powerhouse herself. She's known for kicking butt in the book of Boba Fett and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So bringing in that commanding aura perfectly complemented the episode. Now let's talk about cameos with the actors we've already seen in The Big Bang Theory. Mayim Bialik as the one and only Amy Farrah Fowler. Thanks to this guest appearance, fans of TBBT discovered that Sheldon and Amy have a son named Leonard. We all melted a little thinking it was a sweet nod to one of their best friends. But then, classic Sheldon. He drops the truth bomb. He actually wanted to name the boy Leonard Nimoy Cooper. Amy, bless her heart, wouldn't have it. Be happy I let you name him Leonard. Okay, okay. The series co-creator Steve Malaro explained how this surprise voice cameo came to be. During the shutdown, the showrunners were brainstorming ways to keep things fresh. That's when they called Maim, and thankfully, she was totally on board. Just like that, another heartwarming layer of continuity was added to the young Sheldon universe. Amy's involvement didn't stop after a name debate. It's the woman who took away my comic book allowance. Uh, to start a college fund for our children. Comic books are an investment. It felt bittersweet to hear their husband and wife banter. But what fans were most interested in was whether older Sheldon or Amy would appear in the spinoff. Incredibly, they will. It was already announced that both Jim Parsons and Mayim Bialik will reprise their roles in the Young Sheldon finale. So mark your calendars, the wait is almost over. 
But now, let's talk about the very first cameo of the TBBT cast member, Kaylee Cuoco as Pool Monster. The actress was uncredited for this role, but true Big Bang fans immediately knew that was her voice. In season three, Sheldon was so nervous about his swim test that he had nightmares about it. It's hilarious how the pool water tried to convince the germophobic genius not to hurt her feelings. Look how clear I am, Sheldon. You can see all the way to the bottom. It seems like Penny has been teasing Sheldon to step out of his comfort zone long before the Big Bang. But here's why Kaylee was offered to play such an unusual role. Steve Malaro revealed that she was his first choice. I knew I wanted it to be female and kind of sexy, and I said, well, Kaylee is perfect for this. And he was definitely right. Now, let's move on to the cameo of yet another member of the Pasadena gang, Simon Helberg as Howard. Thanks to young Sheldon, fans finally learned why he hated engineering so much. Guess what? Engineers are just as smart as physicists. <gasps> you take that back! <laughs> the viewers got a glimpse into his initial struggles with the subject in season five. And while Sheldon narrates a preface story, a familiar voice cuts in. Engineering has a rich and storied history, dating back to ancient times. That only leads to the familiar bickering, which is so fun to hear. When will I learn? I could give you that answer, but if you figure it out for yourself, it'll mean so much more. Would you believe that this lively banter was recorded on Zoom? Well, it only proves how great all the actors on the show are. Next, we are moving to the cameo you might have totally missed or forgot. Elon Musk as himself. This cameo sparked some wild theories that made it truly exciting. Let's break down this epic guest appearance. Our favorite little genius throws a major curveball during a NASA engineer's presentation on space rockets. He deems the practice of letting them fall into the ocean wasteful. And in true Sheldon fashion, he proposes to land the rockets instead. Of course, the engineer dismisses his suggestion as childish, which only causes Sheldon to try proving his point. And though his calculations are valid, it turns out that NASA lacks the resources to make it happen. Fast forward, and we see a billionaire flipping through a very familiar looking notebook. Now, this raises a few questions. Did Sheldon inspire the future space pioneer? Did Elon travel back in time? Or maybe a grown up Sheldon handed him his calculations? Anyway, it's a hilarious nod to Musk's early days in the public eye, before the days of constant online debates. And now, some honorable mentions. There were quite a few cameos on young Sheldon, the late Lance Reddick stole the show as a teacher who humbled the overconfident prodigy. I'm Professor Boucher, and this is Civil Engineering Lab. He certainly had a lot of fun playing the character who put Sheldon Cooper in his place without even breaking a sweat. The prequel series wouldn't be complete without the appearance of Sheldon's childhood hero. Bob Newhart played an educational show host, Professor Proton. Much to his sister's dismay, Sheldon always insisted on watching his program. It's TV, we aren't supposed to learn. Newhart became a favorite guest star for many fans of the Big Bang Theory, and the actor himself also enjoyed his role. Surprisingly, when he came on for his first scene, Newhart was super nervous. He thought that the audience wouldn't recognize him or find him funny. Instead, he received such a huge standing ovation that he even shed a tear. Also, there are several pretty subtle cameos. For example, the music teacher Miss Fenley was played by Melissa Tang. She previously appeared on The Big Bang as Mandy Chow. Oh great, there's Mandy. Why are marine biologists always so cute? Then there's Vernie Watson Johnson. She portrayed Nurse Althea on the original show and Nurse Robinson in the spin-off. My, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> you just asked me and I said no. And of course, we can't forget about Teller. It's like you're actually magic. <laughs> a magician in real life, he played Amy's father on The Big Bang. In the prequel, he made a cameo together with his real life colleague, Penn. They played the dermatological duo, Acne and Puss. Now we're usually associated with the uh, ugliness and discomfort. What an unusual way of talking about the first signs of puberty. So which cameo did you like the most? Share in the comments below and watch our other Young Sheldon videos.